How's it going guys? Harry and Ben, the D-Pads here, and welcome back to our channel after a little hiatus. Yeah, and today we're going to be talking about Ben and my top three games for 2017. So we have two unique ones, but then we both had the same favorite game, and that is going to be the first D-Pads game of the year, and we're really excited to share it. Brap, brap, brap. Brap horn. Brap, brap, brap. <laughs> Alright, so do you want to get us started off with your two? Sure, and... I'd say that they're probably in a particular order for okay. me. At least my two are. Yeah, usually, um, usually when I do lists, they're in no particular order, especially with games, because like you go to different games for different things. So, for example, I wouldn't go play uh, Age of Empires for the experience I would want from a Halo game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just keep that in mind for my lists. I think that my number three game that I played this year is probably Assassin's Creed Origins. Mm -hmm. Um it was a beautifully done game. It's almost like dropping Assassin's Creed, just all the lore behind the game, mm -hmm. in, and mixing it up with a little bit of Red Dead, a little bit of Witcher. Mm -hmm. um, really, re they really, really grabbed. They did, you know, they did like an overhaul of the combat system. In that they game, did right? yeah, completely overhaul. It. It's a lot more Witchery, which I feel like a lot of games that'll come out in probably the next couple of years are going to basically take directly from The Witcher because yeah. it's pretty much set the gold standard yeah. in RPGs. Kind of like how a lot of um, like action games in this era, like in the like an older era, uh, kind of borrowed from God of War. Like you remember, like everyone kind of had like the Blades of Chaos for a while. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure we'll kind of see a lot of that with uh, Witcher yeah. here. Yeah. Um, with like you know, like just dodging and mm -hmm. stuff being a really big focal point. Yeah. Um, the only reason that yeah. it's not my number two favorite game is because about halfway through the game, and a lot of people agree on this, is. <clears throat> there comes a moment where you're progressing through the game, you're kind of mm -hmm. doing what you want, it's very, very well paced, and then all of a sudden you hit this EXP kind okay. of wall. Okay. And you have you do you have to, like, grind? Where basically you have to grind. Yeah. And it really kind of breaks the immersion and, from the game, and yeah. especially at Th your own personal pacing. pacing. Yeah, okay. It throws a wrench in it. Um, yeah. It really, really does. And then once you hit that, you're just kind of like, oh, gosh, where, where, where yeah. do I go now? What do yeah. I do? Fortunately, there's tons of side quests in the game. There's tons of side quests to level up on, and that game gets better the less amount of time you actually take with it. Okay. Um, every just, you know, the slower you play that game, ultimately the better time you're going to have. Gotcha. So don't play that game looking just to speed, speed through around. an Assassin's gotcha. Creed game. You want to play that game, play it patiently, mm -hmm. take care, and then ultimately it so will probably be on your list of favorite games for 2017. You want to enjoy your stay. You want to enjoy your stay you with Assassin's enjoy Creed Origins. Yeah. Enjoy your stay in Egypt. So my third favorite game of this year was probably Injustice. And that's unusual for me because I, I typically don't like fighting games. Mm -hmm. And I kind of mentioned that in like our D-Pads versus... You're not super competitive. Uh, yeah, I, I just kind of... I, I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like to experience something. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I like more like narratively driven games. And just kind of like... Like you said, being in a competitive setting, just kind of like... I get tired of it like it just kind of exhausts me emotionally sure. and just my it takes a lot of energy for me to invest into it um but this one I, I really liked a lot of the um like the setting I liked it a lot I liked a lot of like the, just the DC things they uh, threw in there because like I, I really like DC like I have my booster my blue beetle here that I got for Christmas that's fun so I, I really like just kind of like the digging like really deep into the nooks and crannies of that universe, and I felt like they did a pretty good job, and it was really it told a really fun little comic book story. It did, <clears throat> um, and that was one thing I really liked about it. Um, the story was awesome for a yeah. fighting game. Yeah, like yeah. I was invested the whole time. I played straight through from yeah. beginning to end in the story. It's better than most of the DC movies. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, see, I even like Justice League. <laughs> like it was just, I don't know, you know, it's it's not like. Shakespeare, but it's, it's kind of just yeah. what you go expecting from a fighting game, and then you, if you go expecting the average fighting game, um, like narrative, you will be very pleasantly surprised. So you know, if I'm sure you can get that um, in kind of like a bargain bin somewhere, maybe it's on sale on Amazon or similar like service, and you know, if you can, uh, and if you like just the DC setting, or if you like the Mortal Kombat series, I'd really recommend you give it a try, yeah. and or wait for the Game of the Year edition for sure. Yeah, and so. then it'll come with all the characters. Yeah, and 
Yeah, because they have like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles coming out. No yeah. way. Yeah, did you know that? No. Yeah, that trailer was crazy. It was. It's really funny. We can watch it later. But yeah, go watch that trailer because <laughs> it's, it's just nuts. That's wild. Yeah, so it, it's really cool. My number two game is probably um, Lord of the Rings Shadow of War. And this game took the original, mm-hmm. made everything better, yeah. and may- somehow managed to make the Nemesis system yeah. even more enjoyable and more addicting mm-hmm. than it was before. Mm-hmm. Um, you could pit two people together in like a battle pit, and yeah. you could. There's just there were so many fun things you could do. Yeah. The combat was so tight. The Nemesis system was so good, and it was from start to finish. Yeah, so addicting. I would wake up early in the morning at like seven thirty or eight a.m. hours before I had to go to work, just so I could get at least three or four hours in on that game before I would have to go to work for the next eight or nine hours. Yeah. So I was waking up early, staying up late, completely addicted to that game. And the only reason that it has my number two spot over Assassin's Creed was because there was never a time where any there was no break in pacing. Yeah. There was no drop in immersion. The whole thing was just a solid experience completely linear all the way through in all the best ways. Yeah, and I've heard the, the game's gotten a lot of flack because um, they did something with like loot, something similar to loot boxes with like the orcs, right? Or they, what, the, What's your take on that? The, like, they got slammed for microtransactions. As far as I see it, mm-hmm. in that game specifically, if you're taking advantage of their microtransaction system they dropped to basically you're paying to get different kind of loot boxes, like you said, that give you mm-hmm. better orcs or give your orcs unique weapons or something like that. Yeah. You're paying money to have less fun with the game. Mm-hmm. Because these are things that you can these are things that you can search for in the world. You can, you know, there's thousands of generated random orcs and different yeah. weapons and different abilities and powers and so if 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 that's the way you want to play the game, if you want to play to have the best things sure whatever but Mm -hmm. ultimately you're paying money to have less fun with the game than you would normally have yeah just searching the world and finding these cool like items cool items on your own might they pop up less than buying them of course they will yeah but you're paying to have less fun and you're paying to ruin the experience of finding a Mm. orc to take control of and dominate with an incredible power or a really neat weapon yeah Yeah. and is it competitive at all? Like, do getting can you use your orcs against like other players, or is it just single player? Basically, orcs? you can build. Uh, what, you can. It, it's basically like you build a fort. Okay. So like you put your strongest orcs in positions of power, uh-huh. and then other people try to raid your okay. strongholds. Gotcha. So it's kind of like weird, like Clash of the Clan type yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. Basically, you but is that all, all optional? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, yeah, and it's, yeah, you just, you, you, whoever has the strongest team, basically, defending or sieging. Okay. Um, that's kind of how the multiplayer works. See, if it wasn't for, like, the kind of, like, pay to win ish nature of loot boxes, that could be pretty fun. Otherwise, yeah. I'm kind of like, yeah, no, the, the, the fact yeah. that it's pay to win, and, like, I'll say it a hundred times Overwatch, no better microtransaction yeah. system ever. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, if, I would, I would love if, the majority of paid microtransactions for loot boxes and stuff were mm-hmm. aesthetical. Yeah, I think yeah, it's either Overwatch or Halo Five for me yeah. because like you know, you they do have like in-game effects in Halo Five, but like there are modes where that doesn't matter. I'm not sure if it's been fixed, but I know For Honor kind of ruined itself with yeah. all that. <laughs> People were paying yeah. fifty bucks outright, and then you were having an. I mean, you had the best weapon in the game. Yeah. And, and there's no hold. There was no restriction yeah. on it. So, For Honor has a special place in our hearts because it was the first like video we did. Yeah. Um, but it does not have a special place on this. <laughs> Blackstone, where are reinforcements? I'm it. <laughs> <laughs> so my number two game is Okami HD, and this game is. It's kind of it feels like kind of a cop out because it's a an HD um, remaster of like you know a, a game on the PlayStation Two, which is like what it was originally released on. And I was planning to buy it full price. I thought it was going to be a sixty dollar game. And I like go onto the Xbox Live Marketplace. It's only twenty. Steel. Like this, yeah. This game is incredible. If you have an Xbox, I believe it's the, it's the same price on the PlayStation Four. I'm like positive. I haven't seen that, but like yeah. 
And if you have either console, please just do yourself a favor. Go check it out. Twenty dollars. It's a steal. Did and you play it? Did you play the original? Like yeah, way back when on PlayStation. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I, that was one of my favorite games on PlayStation yeah. Two. I dumped so like good. hours and hours into it. It's got just a, a beautiful art style. Completely unique and original. Too. Yeah, like, I've no. never seen anything like that in a game before. Oh yeah, it, and it just has aged so well. I mean, the like everything they've done, like little tweaks and things on it, just make it like really pop in HD, and it's just it's just amazing. All of the character designs, the musical cue, it really, it all holds up, and it, it's just, it kind of, it really took me back to uh, an age in gaming that, like, I kind of hadn't visited in a while, mm -hmm. um, and so that was really nice, yeah. and that was, like, just a good, solid platformer, and um, if you're <clears> wondering <throat> how it's structured, it reminds me a lot of a Zelda game, so in that respect, you kind of, you know, go into, like, various dungeons or various areas of this world, you will enter a dungeon, in the dungeon, you'll get, like, a new power, and that'll help you succeed in the dungeon, and then you can use that power in combat or, like, in the world and things mm -hmm. like that. And so if you like Zelda games, check it out for sure. Um, if you like just platformers, check it out for sure. If you like Japanese mythology, <laughs> check it out for sure. There's just a lot of reasons... Yeah to check this game out. So that's, that and is nothing, why it's... And nothing beats kind of dropping yourself back into that nostalgia too. Oh, yeah. Especially definitely. if you've played the game before, yeah. if you are familiar with Okami. And I think, you know, if, 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 you're, if you've never played the game before, there's no better place to start. But if you've played the original and you jump into this one, you're going to be... Yeah, it's hitting all like... It's, it's doing a great job of hitting like the nostalgic notes with me. Well, like, so I've... It's been long enough for me to where like parts of it will feel new, but I'll still get like that nostalgic rush. It'll just be like, Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. This is awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely check that out. So, and our number one. Our number one. The our first. Number one. Our the number one. First D pads game of 2017 is. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> It's wow! Good. It's what a good. what a what a great what a game. game! Just like the mechanics, just the story it told, the setting in which it took place, the music was amazing. Yeah. The it's, concept it's, was so unique. Yeah. With the you know the mix of future and past. And, yeah. And and man versus machine. And yeah. It's just so good. Yeah. Honestly, games like Horizon are really why, as an Xbox owner. I usually tell people, like, if you're split between the two, you should probably get a PlayStation 4. Because I love the Xbox exclusives, but there hasn't been an Xbox exclusive that really comes close to Horizon Zero Dawn. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, it's just, and other things like, you know, the Naughty Dog properties and things, but that's besides the point. Uh, beside the point. So, this game, you, it, you can just, like, approach it from so many different angles. It can, like, satisfy so many different, like, you know, gaming needs that you want. Like, mm -hmm. it has, like, um, moment to moment, really good action. Yeah. It has a really good, like, kind of like role play elements mm -hmm. that you can like have fun with. It tells a good story in that same vein. There's a good crafting system. Yeah. If you like Easter eggs, it has a ton of that. Like, perks, yeah. good perk trees. I'd say it's fairly it's fairly <clears throat> replayable. I'd say so. I, I would say yeah. And so it also you, even has DLC too. Yeah, that has like really good DLC. I'm sure the Game of the Year edition will be an awesome purchase for yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we haven't gotten a chance to uh, play the DLC. I know it's kind of maybe a little weird that we didn't like are saying it's our game of the year without even playing the DLC, but it's just that good. It really is, and yeah, it's kind of in like the uh, the DLC. It seems like from what I've read is in the same vein as like The Witcher Three, where like the DLC like is just so big and it doesn't. It only adds to a game. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fill in incomplete components sure. to the game. There was nothing so, about that game that felt incomplete either. Yeah, no, it was just it like... It didn't feel like one of those games where they pushed it out too quickly. Yeah. And like you said, later had to go back and fix things or add DLC to make up for the things that they didn't put in when they should have. Yeah. I mean, everything was there. Everything was where it needed to be. It was precise. It was tight in combat and story. It was mm, so good. Absolutely. Like, you know, when you think of, like, Xbox exclusives, you're like... In the previous generation, this would be definitely more of a conversation. Because, um, you know... Right now, um, the two most prominent I can think of are Halo and Gears of War. Mm -hmm. Both, like Gears of War 4 specifically. 
Um, those are both games that I really enjoyed. And I actually, I really love Halo 5. I always say that. I say that like this like three times in every video. But like, they just don't know how to hold a candle to like Horizon yeah. or Uncharted or The Last of Us. Sure. So, yeah. And now we're going to talk about, that's that's our first ever game of the year. Awesome. Boo! Woo! So, now we're going to talk about just games we're looking forward to in the coming year. And kind of in the same vein, you know, um... Both of our answers are going to be uh, Kingdom Hearts three. If you if you watch like if you've any watched of our, any of our videos or talk to us at all, I think w- there's like a small chance we've talked about Kingdom Hearts three in literally every every video. every, every like discussion based video. Yeah, like <laughs> in any non scripted video, we'll probably start talking about Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, like. Yeah. So no game I'm looking forward to more, and we can both say that we both agree that is the number one game we look forward to of 2018. Yeah, like that's been my most looked forward to game of, for a decade of, of, like, <laughs> of current year for yeah for a decade. Yeah, ten times in a row. Um, but we're gonna talk about some uh, other games that we're looking forward to. Do you want to start out? I think probably the game that I'm most looking forward to. Well. There's one that I actually even forgot about until just now. Mm. The Last of Us 2. Yeah. The Last of Us 2 is probably, thinking about it now, the game that I'm most excited for. Yeah, we were even just speaking of powerhouse Sony exclusives. The narrative in that game that I experienced the first time playing it through. I remember when I beat that game, I was living with some roommates in an Mm -hmm. apartment at a time. And for about the last half of that game, everyone would come into my bedroom at night to yeah. watch me play that game. Yeah. They only probably saw the last half to last quarter of the game. Yeah. And I remember I was sitting in a like a computer desk chair up mm-hmm. near the TV and they were sitting behind me on the bed. And at the very end of that game, even only after probably watching me play for about a quarter of the experience, yeah. the final line was said and we all dropped our jaws. Like, yeah. it was so powerful, so good. Yeah. The entire experience of that game was so great. That final line is just says so much with so little. Yeah. It's two syllables. It's so good. Whole, so I yeah. can't wait for that. And another game that I really, really am looking forward to is God of War. Yeah. Um, oh, I yeah. have such great memories growing up with God of War. I feel like next to Grand Theft Auto Vice <laughs> City yeah. or Grand Theft Auto 3... God of War games were some of the first games I can remember as a kid playing and being like, I don't, I probably shouldn't be playing this, <laughs> but it feels so good to be playing yeah, it. Yeah. And it was just such a great, it, the, the first three, God of Wars 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. I never played the one that came after that. It was like something like God of War Origins or something yeah, like I never, that. Yeah. I never played that one, but God of War yeah. 1, 2, and 3. That the mobile little, games were also quite good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that little, that little or trilogy. The PSP games. PSP rather, games. Not, not like on your phone. That little trilogy of games were so great, and I had so much fun. Every game was better than the other, and just so many great memories as yeah. a kid. And it, it, running it, around, cutting they're, heads. They're, and... they're really taking it to like. Uh, I think they're doing a good job based on the trailers mm-hmm. um, of like taking it to somewhere fresh. Yeah. But also like keep it like so you have like the crazy like mutilations sure. and things that you can do, but it's still kind of like grounded. Um, and they're like you know really kind of doing the Sony thing and giving like a really good character driven story, yeah. and that's really fun. And I hope that they don't make the mistake of making your son like an annoying follower. Yeah. Because as we know, unless it's Bioshock Infinite, yeah, <laughs> or, 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 or the, the Last, Last of Us, Us yeah. if you have a follower, they're annoying. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully they can hopefully they can find a good a yeah. good. A good what about for like the, the first level? Of Kratos not. just like kills his son. <laughs> he just like <laughs> bye. <laughs> it's just like he reverts. out of the turntables. Yeah, <laughs> he reverts to God of War two. Kratos. He's yeah. Just like, <laughs> what are you thinking about next? Year? All right. So, if you had asked me before all the the stuff with Battlefront two had come out, it would definitely be Anthem from mm-hmm. Bioware. Uh, however. <laughs> EA has its hands in that, and it's going to be riddled with loot boxes, or so I've, I've read online. So there's going to be, when you get into your robot, awesome robot armor, you won't be able to get into just kind of like your peak awesome robot armor without, like, you know, having the opportunity to, like, you know, do, like, a pay-to-win model. Sure. 
Um, and so because of that, my most anticipated game of 2018 is Red Dead 2. Mm. Yeah. So mm. that... Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. And I'm just really, really, really excited. Because um, I love the first one. I, I absolutely adore the first one. I think it's, like, bas- basically, like, for all the reasons I described for Horizon, like, it's because yeah. it's, cause it's, it's weird to put them in the same... Um, you know, grouping or category, but, you know, really, it's, I love it for all the same reasons. It tells a great story. The main character, John Marston, is just, he's, like, one of my favorite, just, like, so fictional characters. So he's like, such he, a great character. Yeah, like, he, he he actually, like, really affected me in my, like, developing years. Yeah. Like, because, like, cause like, that came out when we were in high school, when we were, like, young men, like, and he's just actually, the game poses, like, really interesting questions about, like, life, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and so I, I really like the premise to this one, um, where it's the gang he used to run with, is my understanding. I'm so happy that yeah. it's still John Marston too, and not. I, I think it's a, a different guy in the gang. Oh, is it? Yeah, if I remember. I all like we've only seen the trailer, if I remember correctly. But I'm pretty sure the player character is just like a random, gotcha. like one of the guys in that gang. Uh, I heard a really great fan theory that at the end of the game. Your the player character is like doing something. It's years after the the game takes place, and John Marston comes back as he is at the beginning of Red Dead Redemption, and he kills you, and then you play as John Marston, and it's an HD remake of Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest HD remake ever made. <laughs> ah! And I was like, "There's, that's very unlikely, but holy crap, if they did that, that'd be great." So yeah, please do it. Please, please listen, Rockstar. Please, please, Rockstar. Please. Uh, so, yeah, we hope you guys really enjoyed the video. We hope you guys are looking forward to the awesome games coming out in 2018. And watching our videos on it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely tune in to see how this all pans out. It'll be really fun to kind of, like, take a look back. I'm, I, I think uh, The Last of Us is kind of a safe bet. Mm-hmm. I feel like Red Dead's a safe bet. Anthem... I'm re- it's so cool in concept, but it's so ready to fall on its face at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I'm, I'm really nervous, because you remember how excited I was watching the trailers for Anthem at E3 this year. Or last year. Yep. Oh, last year. So, yeah. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. And we...